Welcome back. A popular ballet company is returning to Detroit, and they are no strangers to the city, as they have performed here 11 times over the last 20 years. Complexion's contemporary ballet continues to pave the way for a new generation of dancers. Joining us now is Meg Paul, Associate Artistic Director of the Complexion's Contemporary Ballet Company. Thanks for joining us, Meg. Thank you for having me. For those who have never had the opportunity to see a show, you know, you guys are based in New York, mm -hmm. but this is a worldwide performing group. You guys yes. have been on several continents. Yes, we have. Tell yes. us about the show. Well, the show is an eclectic um, mix of classical. We've got um, gospel and uh, rap and spoken word within it, but the co-artistic director, uh, Dwight Roden, who is our resident choreographer, um, he's been creating ballets for the company uh, since its inception in 1994, along with co-artistic director Desmond Richardson. Um, so we've brought these ballets all around the world to critical acclaim, and we're so excited to be back for our 12th time. Yeah. here in Detroit at the Music Hall. Yes, happy to have you back. For those who don't know, who aren't huge ballet followers, enthusiasts, what is different about this show? Everything you just described, mm -hmm. it's, it contradicts. Your average person may think, you know, the Nutcracker, yes. <laughs> your classic yes. ballet. Yes. How is this show different? Dwight and Desmond have really brought a singular style through complexions. It's always represented diversity and inclusion way back when, and they bring in the fusion of ballet, contemporary, modern, hip hop, jazz. I mean, it's, it's yeah. unlike anything you've ever seen, truly. And our dancers within the company are from, again, all around the world. Uh, there are super athletes. I mean, when you see the physicality yes. um, and the passion and the ability, it's just, it's really kind of mind blowing. Yeah. I, I don't know if dancers get enough credit for that, especially exactly. these professional ballet dancers. Yes. I mean, it's not just the flexibility and the no. technique, but it is an extreme level of fitness. Absolutely. And within the choreography, it is so dense. Uh, there's the upper body, lower body moving simultaneously, the polyrhythms. We even have our own codified technique now called Nyik, which is what we uh, trained through our academy, preparing them for the uh, oh. intricate choreography. Now your own technique, is that just a new twist on the sort of classic ballet everyone has been learning for hundreds of years at this point? Yes, absolutely. It has that classical foundation, but within that, uh, we bring in all the elements of folding the upper body, unfolding, sliding, shearing through, using the side body off and on the leg. I mean, within the choreography, you'll see that. And so we train uh, students all around the world in this particular technique called Nique, and we're bringing that to Detroit the week prior to the show yes. with our first pre-professional program that we're offering here in Detroit. We usually offer it only in New York City, but I wanted to expand that to ensure that our, our local Detroiters and uh, all the dancers from around the world could come and experience it here and dance on the music hall stage with the company wow. in the performance. That is incredible and an incredible opportunity for local dancers, for dancers around the country, because it yes. won't just be, people will be coming from around the U.S. Yes. for this mm -hmm. to Detroit, yes, correct? Absolutely. They and are. these aren't your beginner dance classes. What is that intensive week like? Oh, the week is amazing. Uh, we have company member Jillian Davis, Desmond Richardson will be here. I'll be training them myself. And they will be learning Neek, which is what we just talked about. So that's about an hour and 45 minute class, which is super intense. Yeah. And then they're going to be learning actual complexions choreography, phrases that will then be put together in a very special piece just for them wow. that they will premiere on the music hall stage within the show next to the company. There's no greater way to really train other than being like right up close next to in the wings you know with these professional dancers what is that like for your average serious dancer a young person who maybe wants to make a career out of this what is that kind of opportunity like to not only be able to take those kinds of classes but to be able to perform alongside exactly. complexion exactly so again the, it's so when we see it afar you know when we're in the audience it's wonderful or yeah. when we're seeing it on social media but when you're literally standing next to getting to take company class uh, being in the wings, going on right after the company's just performed, they're going on right after on the very same stage. There's just something so uh, special about that. And, you know, it, it just elevates everything kind of immediately. So it gives them an idea up close and personal of what they can aspire to. Mm -hmm. And certainly they're getting all the tools at the same time. So. Yeah. Are there more opportunities for dancers in this day and age? We were kind of talking about mm -hmm. this during the commercial mm -hmm. break. Dance has gone mainstream, it especially has. in the social media age. It seems like everyone's a dancer these days. Yes, yes, I, I think so as well. And you see that um, on Broadway, you see that um, yeah, 
pretty much everywhere you go now yeah. on TV. So there's so much more visibility, I think, for dance. And I really, mm -hmm. um, I'm so happy about that because, you know, it sort of was, what, like we were saying, it's, it was sort of like over here, you kind know. Niche. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I love that it is more mainstream and more accessible yeah. um, and available. And I think with Complexions, the show in particular, there really is something for everyone within mm -hmm. the show. Um, and it's, it's a surprise in terms of what the experience is because yeah. it really truly is unlike anything yeah. that you've ever seen. Seems like it would be an especially great thing if you have a young dancer at home to it bring is. by and see these incredible professional dancers. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and the, the evening has something for everyone between Bach to Beethoven to um, then we have uh, uh, Shirley Caesar singing gospel and spoken word, yeah. the messages that are woven through. It's very inspiring, especially for young people, seeing themselves sort of up there in all the different forms. Each company member is unlike the next. Yeah. Um, so we really celebrate that uniqueness and people really do come away from that show feeling that, that they were spoken to as well yeah. and that um, yeah, they're very inspired. So. Yeah, something really to be moved them. by. Yes. Uh, for people who are, of course, excited and want to attend, it's coming up in just a couple of weeks. Yes. What do they need to know? Well, um, it's uh, Sunday, April 23rd mm -hmm. at 3 p.m. at the okay. Music Hall Center for the Performing Arts downtown Detroit. Um, tickets are available at Music Hall or at, on Ticketmaster. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be a wonderful Sunday yes. afternoon to Absolutely. spend in the theater. Well, good luck with the Thank visit you. and the tour and absolutely the workshop leading up to the Thank show. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah. it. We're lucky to have you guys come by. Thank you. This is Meg Paul of the Complexions Contemporary Ballet Company. Thanks so much for coming by, Meg. Thank you.